Hello YouTube, this is me, Makilo306, and I'm going to be showing you guys <coughs> the Super, not another Super Famicom, uh, these are the Super Nintendo controllers, uh, but they're, um, they're USB, so that means they're perfect for uh, retro emulation for if, if if anyone like uses retro work or anything like that um uh not only do i have the super nintendo controllers but i also have the super famicom controllers so it has the yellow red green and blue uh th that's the only difference is just the colors the, the everything else is the same pretty well the um but yeah let's Let's give them a test. Let's 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 get right into the test. Let's let's not waste any more of your time. All right. So what we're gonna do is test it out on my Chromebook, which runs RetroArch quite well for the SNES. Um, let's plug it in. <clears throat> let's get it started. That's the SNES, and this is the Super Famicom. We're gonna try out. Uh, Mario Kart and uh, Mortal Kombat 2 so let's, let's 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 see how it works let's see if it even uh, registers let's let's go oh yeah that's nice works good um, let's go Super Nintendo I might have to re map the buttons. I think I might have to. Um, you go to port one. You got the up, up, down, left, right, good. A. B. Oh. I screwed it all up. X will be up here. And Y is on the left. For Nintendo, all right. Let's let's go let's get let's get down to business. Let's actually Alright, here we go. We're on RetroArch. I got the the original the American version of the SNES plugged in on that side and the Super Famicom version plugged in on the other side and um Alright, so they do work. Um Let's see if they how they run on a <laughs> on an actual game. I just um, uh, mapped all the buttons correctly. Uh, we'll go Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, let's play a game. I, I could uh, I could play one handed. Uh, let's play Mortal Kombat 1. We'll, we'll see how that one goes. Uh, is there anything I could stand my phone on against? I think I... Oh, shit. Alright, let's see if that... There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get it going with uh, player one and player two. This is the two player test.
Mortal Kombat 2. Alright, um... I'll be Liu Kang. Alright, I remember all the buttons and controls and shit. Oh yeah, blocking is the shoulder button. Damn. Anyways, you, you get the idea. Let's see if player two could, could join. Oh, yeah, player two can enter the tournament. Let's go, it's a classic uh, Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. Let's, let's test all the, the controls out. Sorry if uh, that camera angle is really bad. I, so, that looks good. Um, that. Try sub zero. Okay. So, yeah, that's, they work good. I'm just going to try it with a, another game. Hold select, go to close content. Um, now I kind of want to play a Mario game, to be honest. So, let's play some Mario World. I don't have Mario World, like, if, on its own. Oh well, let's let's do it through uh, Mario World or Mario All Stars plus Mario World. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this plays. How it feels. Hmm. Huh. If you look at that. Welcome. This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Uh -huh. Again and again and again. Alright. Let's, uh... No, no lag input or anything like that? No, it, it's, it, honestly, it feels like you're playing the Super Nintendo, like, completely. Oh, jeez. That's a mushroom. Oh, too soon. I can't even go there. Was it just me or did it lag there? Close content. Let's try Mario Kart. Let's see how this goes. Classic Mario one. Mushroom Cup.
Well, I can't really record it as good as I thought I did. But All right, so we've come to a conclusion that this uh, these uh, Kiwi Tata uh, USB controllers that are Super Nintendo. I gotta say, I'm happy. Like you know, like I one of these things. Or I well I, I got both the American and the Japanese versions because um I like Super Nintendo it's pretty cool and I had enough money for both so I decided hey might as well pick one of these up because I enjoy retro emulation um I mean I like playing it on my Switch but but it's like it's really nice to play on my Chromebook right here uh because if I if I want to play it in my room, I got it right there, and yeah, I'm looking forward to playing some turn-based RPGs and all them fun games on Super Nintendo. I'm planning on also getting a uh, NES USB bundle. Uh, it's the not not with the original Famicom though, because I that those are hard to find the USB Famicom, but I will get a hold of some third-party USB NES controllers. I will make another video for you guys, but my conclusion for these things, they're pretty damn good. Like if, if you want to, if you're going camping or if you, if you're out and about and you want to, or if you're traveling or any doing anything anywhere, if you get yourself uh, just, you know, either the Japanese version or the American version, they're, 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 they're only like 20 something bucks on, uh, what is it, on Amazon each, 21 or 22, something like that. So, yeah, if, if you love your Super Nintendo, definitely go for it. I enjoy it. I... I I do not say, I'm not saying that these are bad controllers at all because controllers are what makes the game feel like it's this and what, what not, like this and that, you know what I mean? So I'm probably going to play some Super Nintendo for, for the day here. This is pretty dope. Um, all right. Thank you for watching. And, uh, if you're planning on getting one of these and you never shopped on Amazon before, heads up, you need to require, a, a, attach a credit card for, uh, just for proof of age, I guess, but you don't have to spend credit card money. You could just use gift card money or whatever you want to do, but that's just what I do. I, I like I like getting free stuff, but I also like supporting the creator of whatever or the cre of the artists, you know, of the developers, you know. But I don't know. I can't get into Marvel movies. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. You guys take care. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate you sticking around to the very end. So, I gotta say, out of 10, I gotta say these are probably good. 9.5 at least. I would say 10, but... I, I don't know, I prob I'm, it's, it's pretty well right next to 10. You know what I mean? Alright, peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>